Howdy y'all. Welcome to Little Bits. Today I want to talk a little bit about myself and this channel and what I'm doing with this channel and why why I'm here, why you're viewing any content from me at all. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, myself, my name is David. I am by trade a systems administrator, uh, grown into what's called DevOps engineer these days. Uh, there's a lot of discussion that can be had about that. For better or for worse, my current title is DevOps engineer. And what that really means practically is that I work with a team to help manage, maintain, and improve upon cloud-based web application architectures, meaning that you know we use cloud hosting techniques to host a web application that really its work spans across multiple computers working together, multiple services working together, and we have to know enough about how the application works and how the technology works to keep that entire application running in a healthy way, monitor its health, keep it alive, add functionality to it, um, and empower our development team in particular to uh, add features to the application. Now, in a job like that, I work at a very high level with computers. And what that, what that means is that I don't really, in my day-to-day -day job, spend a lot of time understanding or working with tooling that affects computers at the hardware level. Rather, I work with, you know, web APIs and I work with very high level interpreted coding languages. And, you know, sometimes I dig into low level aspects of an operating system, but when we design our cloud systems correctly, you very rarely need to spend a lot of time digging deeply into how hardware works because the vast majority of the hardware we use is virtualized. So, you know, you tend to design systems that are disposable when something goes wrong with them, uh, assuming that the thing going wrong with it is not, does not have a more permanent underlying issue. You just dispose of the machine and replace it. You know, you don't spend a lot of time understanding how bits are moving through the machine. So that's my day job. Prior to that, I was a fast food cook for many years. I actually have only been doing software engineering work and systems administration work for going on six years, close to six years at this point. So um, while I am a professional and an expert in my field, I am certainly not the most expert in my field. And I rely very heavily on my teammates to do what I do. Now, why am I doing this? So really ultimately at the end of the day, I want to see a certain type of content on YouTube and I just can't find it. So here I am, I'm making it. I have decided that, you know, this is what I want to see and nobody else is making quite what I want to see. So I'm going to have to be the one to do it. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this. It's also kind of relaxing for me. Um, you know, it's, it's good downtime activity to just kind of think through and understand and explain to others so that I can cement my understanding about how all of these things work to create tools that we use on a daily basis. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with graphing calculators. You know that I have a large collection. You know that I am very interested in the Zilog 80 processors that run the Texas Instruments graphing calculators in particular. I am also interested in the Motorola 68000 series of microprocessor units, which is what this is, uh, that run some of the other Texas Instruments, the 89 Voyage 200 TI-92 Plus, uh, the TI-92 Plus. They run this particular microprocessor and it is a step up from the Zilog 80, although the Zilog 80 still seems to be more popular in modern manufactured products. Uh, you can still find things that are made today that are gonna be running Zilog 80 well into the future. So um, all of this boils down to one thing. I 
want to understand computers. I want to understand how computers work and I want to help others understand how computers work. And this just seems like a good way to do it. So what kind of things am I going to be covering on this channel? Well, obviously graphing calculators of various varieties. I very heavily am planning to focus on Texas Instruments graphing calculators because that's where my obsession lies. But as you can see from the open source NumWorks here, we are definitely not going to exclusively focus on Texas Instruments calculators. I'm going to be doing breadboard computing. This is a breadboard computer that is using a clock module that was designed by another YouTuber named Ben Eater. If you watch his channel or follow his channel, we subscribe to his channel here, uh, you'll recognize this circuit board, this circuit here. It's three five 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 timers. And um, I'm going to use it to, in, in the videos where he builds this clock and uses this clock, he uses a 6503, I believe 6503 uh, CPU. Well, I'm, I'm using the same clock module to drive my Zilog 80 computer here. We're going to be covering things like this, you know, and we're going to be talking about using, you know, little development boards to help. This is a uh, STM32 microcontroller based camera board that is micro python compatible which is a programming language that you can run on these things that uh you can do machine vision with the whole point of this is to do machine vision uh where this is an adapter here that we're going to be using to do serial communications with various boards this is an a, also an stm32 based uh adafruit feather board you know we're also going to be talking about the common um Arduino boards. This is a regular Arduino R3 unit. It's it's a little different. Adafruit makes it, but it's the same AVR chip on here that you'll see on a regular Arduino board. You know, this is the MicroPython reference board here. And these these are things that I use to attack the topic and challenge of understanding just how these computers work. Because I understand higher level languages. You know, I kind of got my start with computer science at a high level, and I never really learned how to, you know, how that maps back down to machine language. I never understood how CPUs work. And this is, this is something that I've only really begun tackling in the last year. And I find as I unravel the mysteries of how these computers work at a low level, it becomes easier and easier to explain it to others. And so I'd like to use this as a platform to do that. Likewise, we're going to talk about, you know, Raspberry Pis. We're gonna use plenty of single board computers that are very common. We're gonna use uh, programmers to program ROM for our breadboard computers. That's why this isn't running, this ROM. I still need to figure out how to actually make it do stuff, but this is all hooked up correctly as far as I can tell. So yeah, breadboard computers. Calculators, embedded device development, computer design at a general, you know, at, at a basic level. Where this is the stuff that I am planning to explore for myself and on this channel. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing here. That's why I'm doing this. That's who I am. Uh, I appreciate anyone who watches. The biggest goal for me with this is to help people learn. And if you enjoy even a moment of this or walk away from it learning something new or find that your interest in computer science is in any way sparked, uh, then I have succeeded and it's all worth my time. So welcome to the channel and thanks for listening to me babble about it and I look forward to posting uh, educational content, hopefully for as long as YouTube exists. So thanks again. Y'all have a wonderful day. See you later.